Uh, my name is Michaela, and as Terry mentioned, I've been here for nine years. I normally start my spiel uh, by asking folks what they know about the Urban Ecology Center and what we do. I have a feeling y'all don't need that same <laughs> spiel. So I at least wanted to reiterate our mission. Uh, so we connect people in cities to each other, and our vision is to inspire generations to building environmental curiosity, understanding, and respect. And it's my job to design, construct, and manage natural areas that more or less emulate plant communities, which at this point in time are primarily in rural spaces, but that once characterized this landscape needed for ecosystem recovery, bolstering uh, resilience, halting loss of biodiversity, and restoring ecosystem trajectory in an age of climactic change. I do this by employing uh, various lenses to help guide my land restoration and management activities. These lenses include ecological lens, a social lens, an economic lens, and a historical lens. We acknowledge that the lands and waterways that we steward are traditional lands of the Potawatomi, Ho-Chunk, and Menominee. This land was sessioned over to farmland uh, where cabbage grew for several decades. And then in the late 1800s, uh, the father of American landscape architecture, anyone know who that is? Oh my gosh, very good. Uh, yes, uh, he was uh, commissioned to design this land as a sanctuary space for Milwaukee residents to find respite from the hustle and bustle of urban life. This brings us to our present day. The Urban Ecology Center within this park has increased the plant biodiversity by 95%. Wow. To give a little bit of context, about the value of plants, they are the physiological foundation of a hierarchy of needs. Every animal depends on plants. <clears throat> what you're eating today, food, shelter, air, water, and hydration, and a place to breed. In 2013, we had roughly one acre of land converted from mowed turf grass to natural area. From the years 2013 to 2020, we converted about seven acres to natural areas. We manage about 10 within the park for invasive species and whatnot. Um, at that same time, our research team was recording bird species richness. So the number of different bird species found within our park. It had increased within that same time frame of one-ish acres to seven by 22%. Mm -hmm. Food, shelter, air, water, reproduction. Um, invertebrates, we're still doing quite a bit of data analysis. We've got a lot of keen volunteers within the neighborhood really interested in bugs. But the four, uh, we had four beetle species recorded within the UEC green spaces. These are new species to Wisconsin. Um, this is the second year that we have seen a female doe deer birth and rear a baby fawn in Washington Park. No. <laughs> I grew up in the sticks up north, so I saw otters and bears and deer all the time. I still think that's pretty cool. So, uh, her name is Deirdre, by the way. If you see her, tell her she can only browse the maple trees. <laughs> no oaks. Um, the goal is to have 20 acres restored uh, within a few decades um, in the northern half of the park. We're doing all this while also advocating for environmental justice within our communities. We are leading, we are recruiting, we are training volunteers and limited term staff like our summer interns, our outdoor leaders. Uh, we also have had uh, temporary employee Milwaukee staff come and help uh, engage in daily, weekly, monthly, yearly land stewardship activities. 
These activities go beyond just planting or removing invasive species. We are talking about and working on professional work skills and environmental ethics. Uh, we have discussions about possible professional opportunities for employment. Um, that being, if someone is interested in that four-year track of college, wildlife biology, ecological restoration, if a degree uh, or formal education beyond high school is not of interest, there are plenty of certificate programs. We talk about Sawyer certification, so learning how to chainsaw within forestry crews, uh, firefighting crews. We conduct prescribed burns, so we have conversations about that being a management tactic and a prospective uh, career interest. Uh, we are desperate, I guess not we, but the collective we, are desperate for uh, firefighters. We have a firefighter shortage and uh, within our nation. So that too requires at the minimum five days, one certification, and then hands-on hours of work. Uh, gardening, landscaping, opportunities for entrepreneurship. We partner with uh, MATC, there are boriculture apprenticeship program comes in and helps Milwaukee County Parks as well as the UEC uh, fell trees within Washington Park. All gaining hands-on experience within the neighborhood. Um, Pre-pandemic we hosted around a thousand volunteers a year. They offered over 2200 hours of time I hope one day we can return to those numbers, uh, if not bump them up a bit. So inclusion of residents in our restoration activities uh, within the parks has absolutely cultivated a sense of pride and connection to the land that I truly hear echoed um, on a weekly basis when we have our walk-in volunteering opportunities, uh, as well as our public programming. So we offer botany walks. I would encourage you all to attend. Uh, one a month at each branch, I should say three times a month, once at each branch a month. Um, I lead native landscaping design workshops. Last night was the wrap up for our second workshop. We had such an interest in that program. Uh, I usually run it once a, uh, I call it a semester, but once in the winter and then once in like the fall. But we had so many people interested and filled up the class of 2025 within two days so I decided to run the second program which again ended yesterday uh, again beautifying the neighborhood not just the park spaces um, we have plant sales we have one this Sunday at Riverside Park from 9 to 1 uh, we have a fruit orchard that we constructed back in 2013 open to the public and uh, I've taught in the past fruit tree training for those that are interested in having their own fruit trees. Um, Community Pie is another club that comes in. Again, neighborhood folks coming in to work with young scientists. Harvesting fruit from the orchard, prepping the pie crusts, constructing the pies, baking, you name it, from start to finish, and then offering it to um, individuals coming to Winterfest or um, Autumn Fest, etc. Those are some of the activities that we do. And with the construction of the new building, uh, it will allow us to not only expand programming, but also restore land <coughs> that can interconnect 40th Street, with the building, with the west side of the park. So I'm really excited. Uh, I've I've drank the Kool-Aid, I've asked for a second <laughs> job. Uh, I, I can't tell you how, just how proud I am to work for this place. So I, I started off my career doing landscape design for residents, and I found that I wanted to beautify spaces anyone and everyone could enjoy, not just those that could afford it. And I, I really feel like that's what we're doing, in the park and out. <laughs>